Man, that's a crazy storm here. That was intense. That was intense in the tent. That was pretty cheesy. It is coming. Very intense thunderstorm. Possibly 70 mile hour wind. storm gets here you'll be here till the storm ends <laughs> yeah. we got mr. Jackson with us Yay! <laughs> more alerts fair thunderstorm warning been issued I think it's here. Whoa! It's definitely here. Oh, look at that corner. All right, yeah, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about right here. I want out now. No, you gotta stay. Too late. Oh, some poles just broke. I think some poles just broke. Hopefully, it didn't puncture the material. It's a big tent. These tents don't do real well in the, this big of winds. Woo! So what's worst case scenario here? It's just high winds. Oh, okay, that's it? There shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any rain. There, there's been no tornadoes reported. Oh, that, yeah, that, uh. That corner is not so good. That pole came completely out. You know, I'm going to put my shoes on just in case we do need to bail. If this whole tent takes off, it might take us with it. <laughs> I've got my hand on the zipper. <laughs> Woo! That was probably 60 mile an hour wind. You can feel the cool air now. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah. That corner is... So that, that, that should be the worst of the wind right now. Until it's sustained. Oh, there's another big gust. I feel some mist. Yeah, we haven't had a whole lot of rain just yet, but... Whoa! There's some big wind. Oh! I hear a bunch of poles of breaking. Tracking. Yeah. Woo! That tent just hit us in the face. Oh! <laughs> I hope the tent doesn't go anywhere. So, these are fiberglass poles, and I heard a bunch of snapping. I think we ought. I think we ought to bail, Jackson. I think we're. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah, let's bail. Here, hold this light for me. It's starting to rain now. All right, I'm gonna zip this up. Let's see what happens to it. Yeah. Oh. This poor tent. I hadn't even got to do a video on it yet. I didn't see anything. Okay, let's go. All right. Can we see the light? Can we see the light? That corner. I think this whole corner pole's broke. Woo, we shall see. That's a tarp pole there. All right, let's go in, Jackson. Woo! 
poor prototype tent. I hope they don't get mad at me for that. I hope it's not the only one. Don't fault the tent for that. That's big tents do not do well in those kind of storms. That tent did very well. Gosh, look at this. It is coming down in buckets. I can't even see the tent anymore. I don't know if it's out there or not. Oh, I see it. It's still up. It's taking a beating big time. We'll see how it, uh, Oh, we'll see how it fares. So seriously, don't fault this tent if it fails this test because this is a crazy storm. Big tents like that cannot hold up to storms like this. We'll show you tomorrow the wind damage that we have around here. Our chicken coop and pen went flying. We had to go rescue our rooster. And right now he's in our garage. Luckily, he was okay. He was still in his house, which was upside down. So, got a little bit of hail. Not a lot, but you can hear it tinking. There's a couple of pieces out there. So, you can see where the chicken coop pen was. There's his house. And his pen is further away around the other side of the house. So hopefully... There's his pen. Yeah, you can hear some hail tinking around. Oh. This storm should be over pretty soon. Man. <laughs> That's a crazy storm here. That was intense. That was intense in the tent. That was pretty cheesy. Whew. That poor old rooster, he was scared to death. He's still in his house. We got him in the garage now. Let's go check on him real quick. Let's go check on the chicky chicky. There he is. We got him a bed in here. He's not a Huh? He's not okay. He's not okay? He was slipping out. <laughs> when I came down, he kind of freaks out. You're all right, cheeky cheeky. Just don't scratch up the vehicles in here. Did yeah. You a, did you get a video of where the stuff was outside? Yeah, just now. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that video went I could hear, from I heard nothing upstairs. I could hear, I couldn't hear anything. I was just like, maybe I should go downstairs. Oh, poor Artemis. His old heartbeat was racing. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even know what was he going on. He probably went tumbling the thing. He probably woke up and was like, what the heck is going on here? Yeah. But he made it. He can stay out here in the garage tonight until I can go fix his house in the morning. So all right, let's... He likes the Harley. What if we find him yeah. riding the Harley tomorrow morning? I hope he don't get on scratch it all up. Well, the tent is still up, but... <clears throat> It pulled some uh, ground stakes up a little bit. <clears throat> so I kind of got some slack on the tent there. <clears throat> I can bent that stake, pulling it out of the ground. <clears throat> Other than that, the tent held its form. It's uh, it's pretty good. We had over seventy mile an hour winds. <clears throat> I 
Well, let's see if the tent stayed dry. It dropped buckets and buckets of rain last night. Look at that. That tent is completely dry. So if you have any question about Iamea tents staying dry in a dangerous thunderstorm, well, there you go. <clears throat> completely dry. So this pole looks fine. I think we had... Sound like some poles were crunching last night in the wind. <clears throat> but, don't know that for sure. This is a big tent that, uh, I mean, look how tall it is. It's not quite six foot tall. I'm six foot. But it's probably a little over five feet tall. And to have that much uh, surface area in 70 mile an hour wind. Woo. <clears throat> I'm surprised this tent is still standing, actually. That was a rocking storm last night. I think we may have a broken pole over here. Or might just... Oh, let's just get in and take a look. Uh-oh. My zipper got out of whack. <clears throat> Let's go in this side. Yeah, there's a little crack right here, but the pole is still, yeah, and that one cracked. It's still intact, it's just split right there. That's it, that's the only one that did. <clears throat> this whole, this whole corner of the tent right here, that roof, I was sitting down this whole side Smacked me in the face. That's how hard the wind was blowing. Look, all the materials held together. And it stayed dry in here. <clears throat> so yeah, it was just the... Uh, just these two... Let's see, where's it at? <clears throat> that pole and that pole. Just those two sections is the only damage out of all that I am so surprised by that that is quite amazing so you can see the outline here where his pen goes and then his house normally goes up that way <clears throat> and there's Artemis hello there Artemis <laughs> trying to attack my camera so his house oh it's still got a bar messed up in there so his house was laying right here that front end was facing this way and it was up on its side so here's his pen So for the most part, the pin held together is just uh, where the brackets are. Just got to loosen them and readjust it and tighten them. And then I'll probably have to replace this tarp. Look at some of the grommets tore. And I'll have to replace the very top piece. I put this clear piece so he gets some sunlight in there, but I wanted to keep the rain off of him while he was in his pen. <clears throat> so it looks like that's the only one that damaged. So. Yeah, that was some pretty strong winds. That was just straight line winds that 
did all that. 